Hi, this is Donnie from Donnie's Conscious Kitchen. We're here to make some uh, muffins today that are gonna hopefully fulfill your sweet tooth and make you really happy because you can eat something sweet. And they're gonna be buckwheat, so we're gonna start. We've already oiled our two muffin pans here. And we need to put the make the batter to put in there, so I've chosen today in spontaneous choosing shaved almonds to put in with the buckwheat mix that we're going to pour into this bowl and we're going to kind of guess how many muffins we need to make so we're going to go like it really doesn't matter how much flour because you can monitor how many of these muffins you're going to eat you know we're going along with the extremely low sugar and if it is sugar natural sugars like in this chocolate almond butter that I'm going to use for the for the uh, icing here Maranatha makes it um, I'm hoping they're gonna make one that's completely sugar free but keeping them to an extreme low is usually good enough so I'm gonna grab some eggs case free eggs I'm going to take two of those out and I'm going to mix them in with this buckwheat powder in a bowl. doesn't have to be specified like a milk mixing bowl or anything. Just a couple eggs in there and then always incorporate cinnamon. I'm going to incorporate this cinnamon in here. The cinnamon lowers blood sugar, so as we know, we always want to incorporate it into things when we can. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to add our water. Just a little bit. I mean, enough to make a nice batter, that's good. We can always add more buckwheat powder if we need to. Let's see what I set my computer in here, excuse me. Okay, we're okay. Just some chocolate. Okay, we're gonna mix in this batter all together. We don't need salt. Salt is not really good for people that are trying to have optimal health because it causes oxidation and whatnot. And in extreme moderation, I think it's okay, but you know, it's not necessarily the best uh, Spice, we need to start learning to use our own ingredients to make spice. And that's really the key. We're going to have to add a little more water because we want it to be a little bit more battery. And we're going to mix all that up. As you can see, I'm mixing up the buckwheat right now. See that consistency? See that? It's kind of a like a pancake, you know, consistency. It doesn't need to be real thick when you're making muffins. It can be like a pancake and then you get a real nice dessert. We're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to like 350, looks good. And then we're gonna mix this in while our oven's preheating to 350. We're gonna mix this in, make sure there's no really bad lumps in there. Mix it all up. I use a fork. You can use whatever you feel like you need to use. And then I'm going to add some almond shavings to this batter, which is a real good energy source for people that are trying to reverse diabetes and, and people that are living with it as well. That are on medication and they want something as an energy boost. These are going to be kind of like energy boost nuggets, you know, cupcakes. So we're going to mix those in. I don't really think I put enough in there. So I'm going to grab some more, whole handful, just dump them in there. You want, you want to experiment with these things. Got our pan oiled with extra virgin olive oil, ready to go including the surface area so that if it rises above and it won't stick to that surface there, hopefully. And uh, 
We're gonna grab a spoon here. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick. Make sure with some real hot water always sanitize things and then we're gonna we're gonna utilize this batter this way. We're gonna put it in our little muffin jars or uh, muffin trays. Just spoon it in there. Remember it's got to rise so we're gonna spoon it in and I'm gonna fill both of these pans hopefully. I just I just kind of guessed on this uh, amount of batter but I think it's gonna be good. It looks like it's so far. You want to be fast, you don't want to sit and bumble and drop your pan and don't worry if some of it spills on the top. Like I said it'll, it'll come off. These are like Teflon muffin, muffin trays and uh, we're gonna put all this batter in here and try to cook all of this up. We got time. Our oven is is uh, preheating, so you know we've got time to portion out everything and make sure it's going to be cooked correctly. So you know what we're trying to do is really have a diet that consists of no sugar and virtually no carbs about a hundred a day is what I what I consume on a day when I eat a lot of carbs and that's a lot of carbs if you're I mean that's not a lot of carbs excuse me if you're counting carbs um, for an entire day um, we want to stay under a hundred if possible sometimes fast and sometimes eat straight raw you know and veggies and and uh, try to avoid you know the ones that have pesticides in them because that's going to be contrary to you know how your body works so with all those pesticides and chemicals so we're going to try to avoid those in our veggies and sprouts and things like that and you know like i said fasting is really important you know and on top of cardio and if you start feeling dizzy well whose fault is it if you didn't have any preparatory meals to bring out like these muffins you know they're more for like a dessert when you want to treat yourself because you've got your glycemic index down and whatnot um but they're uh for something to take out i mean the chocolate clusters that i'm going to show you how to make are going to be great for that and you can put them in a little bag that has one of those ice coolers in it to keep it cool all day long one of those little ice cooler things that you put in the freezer will keep that completely cool so that your chocolate won't melt and you can enjoy it and it can boost your energy and it has no sugar in it you know if I coat the almonds with honey raw honey the the raw honey is not artificial sweetener and it's not refined sugar it's already processed or metabolized by the bees so that our body doesn't have to work it work to break it down so it works really well um, I'm gonna look at this buckwheat just to make sure preheat high is good um, Okay, I'm just looking for the basic directions for cooking here. Um, buckwheat crepes, that's not what we're making, so. Well, okay, well. We're just gonna guess on it. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Looks like it's already preheated. We're good on cinnamon. We added cinnamon to this mixture. And almonds, shaved almonds. 
anything else that we want to add, say, you know, some raw sunflower seeds, you know, make, in, you know, you can make your own kind of energy muffins out of these and they're going to be great. So I'll show you when they come out of the oven. See you in a little bit.